as you have learned the trigonometric ratio of the sum of the two angles so sometimes you may get the question to find the uh, trigonometric ratio of the sum of the three angles like here I took the example of uh, sine you may get cosine tangent or anything you may get all right so in that case uh, it's not uh, more different than uh, the sum of the two angles uh, it, it's uh, as you have learned you know as you have learned sine a plus b is equal with uh, sine a cos cosine b plus cosine a times sine b all right this you have learned right so what we're gonna do uh, we, we can take here you know we can take this a and b as one angle and this c as another angle so what we can write now here for the sine a uh, now this will be like sine a b all right sine a plus b so sine a plus b is actually sine a cos b so what i'm gonna do here now sine a plus b i took this together right a plus b i took together and then i'll write uh, this cosine of c all right I, I i write now first term this this first term and now i'm going to work on the second term and my second term is cos a right this this whole thing is going to work as a, a so uh, it will be now cosine of this a a is actually a plus b here all right and then times sine of uh, sine of b and the b is here just c all right so it's going to be sine of b and b is here c okay all right so uh, i just i just uh, I just imagine this quantity is my a all right and this quantity is my b so now further what I can do I can I can put the value of sine a plus b now all right so if I'm going to put the value of sine a plus b it's going to be now sine a cos b all right and then plus cos a sine b all right and now we have here uh, times cosine of c and then plus we have here one more thing cosine of a plus b so we can put the value we can put the formula for the cosine of a plus c cosine of a plus c let me write here this is cos a cos b and when it is plus here we get minus and when it is minus we get here plus all right and this is sine a times sine b all right the same formula i'm going to put it here the cos a plus b will be now cos a cos b minus sine a times sine b all right and the whole thing is multiplied by sine c so let's open the bracket and we'll get the answer all right so now the cos c is multiplying first this term all right this whole term so it will be now sine a cos b uh, I'm, I'm i'm gonna write this with different color let's see with this all right cos b cos c all right and then plus all right and then again this thing is going to multiply this term this whole term all right so now i'm gonna write again uh i'm gonna write again with this all right so sine b times all right uh cos c times cos a all right now we're finished with this whole part so uh we're going to work on this part now and again plus all right this is sine c so the sine c will multiply this whole term all right so what i'm gonna write first I'm gonna write uh, this sine C here and then times uh, this cos A cos B all right so it is cos A cos B and then now minus all right this is uh, uh, let me do with uh, something different color all right okay so it's sine A times sine B times sine C this is our answer all right this is the a formula for the sine a plus b plus c and this is how to find out and look at here there is you know kind of very good sequence sine a sine b sine c all right and here after a b c comes after b c comes and then you again return to the a all right and after c again you can return from a b c means the pattern you know a b c and if you're here b then it will be c and then it will be a and if you're here c then a will come and then B will come so see the pattern you know this it is arranged in this pattern and then finally you just have to subtract the sign of a b and c that's it the formula is very good you know you just see the pattern if you're starting with the sign a if the sign is a then the cost rest of these two costs will be this will be because I mean if this is our sign this will be our cosine all right that time that's it if you're writing sign a then it write co uh, cos b cos c and if you're writing sign b all right like this then you write cos c cos a and if you're writing sine c then you write cos a and cos b and finally you need to subtract sine of a b and c that's it and this is the formula for the sine a plus b and you can practice with this uh, with the like uh, 
with the cos a plus b plus c uh, tan a plus b plus c the same process it is all right uh, the same uh, like i mean you just first imagine two two angles as one angle and then and then separate up and then use the formula and then again finally use those uh, those uh, those places wherever you get the combined form combined form of the two angles use the proper formula for that and then expand it and you'll get the answer this is all right i hope you understand and i hope you'll do the practice for the cosine and the tangent all right and if there is any problem then please feel free to comment below this video and here also in this explanation if there is any confusions or something like that then please feel free to comment all right uh, i'll really appreciate and i'll i'll, I'll really uh, get back to your comments 